Ask for money and get advice. Ask for advice, get money twice. I'm from the dirty, but that Chico nice. Y'all call it a moment, I call it life. This worldwide, Christina. Hello, this is this is Crafty Bath Tutorial Lumen, and today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of bunny ears. Um, they are also 3D. So here is my example, but they've been pinned up on a pin board. This is my own design. I know that Made by Mommy has a design where it's white on the outside and pink on the inside, but I made this up. I just put the shape onto my loom and made it up. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, for this tutorial, you're going to need 40 to 42 rubber bands in two colours. Um, my colours today are going to be some blue and of course white because the colour scheme matches so we can have a boy colour and a girl. Okay, so if you just give me a minute to set up. Okay, so I've counted the bands for you, and the things you're going to need is 18 blue or whatever colour uh, bands you're using, um, and 22 white, so it is 40. You're also going to need a crochet hook, or in bear in mind, my hook is broken, so I won't be using that. I will be using my crochet hook um, to wrap the cat bands around to insert onto the loom. So, there's not much really crochet hooking, and as you well know, I am back to using, if you watch my Broken Loom video, I am back to using this. So I'll be using this to do the hooking process. It might be a bit harder for me though, so I'll be going a little bit slower, so please bear in mind. Let's get started. So you're going to need your loom set up in the rectangular configuration with <coughs> the pins pointing towards you. And you're going to start off with one of the blue bands, because we're starting off with the ear. And you want to put one single band on this peg to this peg, because this will create a slip knot. <clears throat> now, obviously you're not going to have um, one in the middle, because they're ears. So you're going to skip these pins here and go to these pens and put another slip knot in the same place. Then you're going to go down the loom. I'm going to go down by, let's say, four, four times. So you're going to grab two, sing two single blue rubber bands and you're going to go down to this pin. So this would be one. Um, two. Let me just move my loom up for you. Oops. Three. And the last one, four. Now we're going to go back up to here and we're going to do it again. So, one, two, I've struggled to get my finger out there. bands are twisted. I hate twisted bands. And four. So you should have something that looks a little like that. These are two. These are your slip knots, so don't count those. Just pretend they're not there. Your loom should look like that. Next, we want to start on the actual main head now. So you want to take two white bands and put them from this side of the ear down so we're basically swapping colour and you're going to go down about four again well you're going to go down two and across like I'll show you so we'll do that on both sides 
so we're just going to go down two for now. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to go down one more. Because the fourth set of bands are going to come in handy soon. I think I'm making this one a bit taller, actually. So we're just going to take those off and swap them by putting them onto this pin here. So they're going to go into the middle. Swap them and put them here. Here we are. Um, <clears throat> and then we can put two bands going, whoopsies, from here to here. And two bands going from here to here. Now you want to take this is where your hooking process comes in now. Um, I was actually um, meant to go down to there, so I, I do apologize to you guys. So what you take those ones that you put across and put them down again because I made you change them, didn't I? I'm very sorry. I do apologize. As this is my own design, I don't really, can't really remember. And I want to use all the bands that I provided you with. So I think a little bit of a mistake at the first time I've just made this YouTube account. I think that'll be okay. Put those bands straight across. You should have two bands left of all now. The white bands. Now this is where your crochet hook comes in. We want to put cat bands on this pin where you put the two in here. And this pin where you put the two in here. So you're going to wrap one of the bands around. So you put it on and wrap it around twice. And it'll create three, so you can either wrap around three times, as people say. And you want to do that again, just to save time. There we are. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come to this one, this pin here. You're going to pinch it out. I can't even grab all those bands there. Because I'm so used to doing it on my other one. Pinch them out, and then place them on that pin, all around the pin and then pop them off so that you should have it on there then you want to do it again here so I'm just going to bring that to the edge pinch it and wrap it around this pin there we are now we can do this hooking process so I'm not very eager to do this because I have a terrible hook so we're going to start first with this one here. The only reason to put a cap down is to get these side ones over. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to put your ha you put your hook through these slip knots and pop them out the other side. This is very hard to do with this hook. So you're basically pulling those that cap band out. Sorry, not the slip knot. The first two bands that are on top that go to this side or whichever way you put them. Pull them up through that cat, that cat band, over, and pull them back onto your your loom. I had to take those ones off then because they got a bit they got a bit twisted. So there, you want to do that for the other side. Go inside those cat bands and pick it up and pull it over. Whoopsies. See, I told you this is going to be extra hard for me because of this loom. No, well, both really. You should have something like that. Now you want to loom all the way up. So going in again and getting those two bottom bands. Like that. Grabbing the two bottom bands from here. Ugh, this is so horrible using this. And taking the two bands here and stop when you get to where you have to go in and where it's the start of the blue so do the same on the other side just so you can catch up going all of those bands and pick up just the two bottom and drag them forward Yeah. Um, 
there and it will obviously pull a shape like this because you're pulling it from the middle also but trust me it will turn out to be fantastic at the end so pull it up see I let go of that one there if you do let go just try and catch it if you don't you can just put all the other bands back like the one you just teardrop and you can do it again uh, that's usually what I do so now we've got to here, instead of going inwards, because then when we go inwards, we're going to have nothing to pull forward. And if we pull outwards, then there's going to be a big gap of loom band here, which we don't want. So we're actually going to do what we did before, go into those cap band ones, and get the top two side angled ones, and pull them over to the side. Because then, when you pull them to the side, when you grab the two bottom blue, they'll come right up and over it. And then do that again. And then when we take it off, the cap band will we'll, we'll just blend in. Here we are. Whoops, I let go of that band. Oh, I can't wait to get my new hook. Now we want, what we want to do is we want to do the same hooking process, but this time we're aiming, if you want to look from the side, grab the two bottom blue bands. So you go in all those white bands. Make sure you go in, not outside. It won't form a proper teardrop. Make sure you go in. I'm just going to pull that a bit tighter so that I can see the teardrop form. There we are. Go in, pull those two blue bands, and these pins on this loom is way fatter, so I find it difficult to wrap the bands around so pulling those in there sorry whoops those that actually came off my hook then and then I just hit my camera sorry And then do the slip knot. So you're only taking the bottom single band now up and through. I will show you how to create the proper slip knots at the end then. There we are. So now what you want to do is to create the slip knot, you have these two bands on top of each other. You want to grab the bottom band of that slip knot and pull it over the pin and let go. Then you want to, if you want to, you can just take that slip knot off the loom and just give it a little tug. Not too much of a tug though, just in case it breaks. So there's the slip knot. Now we need to loom this side of the the uh, of the loom. And it's so difficult with this hook. I cannot wait until I get my new hook. I promise that the tutorials will be getting better with my new hook. I'm also going to be buying a. Uh, a real a uh, a metal hook, not a crochet hook. I'm okay with my uh, plastic one for now, but a uh, one of those. Well, I suppose they're crochet hooks. One of these. So I think they are crochet hooks. Up. I'm gonna carry on going up your loom. Whoop! My loom just broke then. Well, not broke, it just came off its pins because, like I said, this isn't the proper rainbow loom, so it's terrible. Oh god, I just let go. Or it slipped, actually. Um, finally, we've done it. We gotta do this last slip knot one, and I just let go. Let me push that back on because I didn't really get it over. And then do what we did before grab the bottom one and pull it over. Then you can just pick that up and, uh, whoops, put those back on, actually. I'll put those on there and I'll just do it with my finger now. Pull it over and tight. Did it again? No, I didn't. There we are. Now we can start taking it off the loom, finally. So, don't pull it by the slip knot, just pull this one off with your finger 
and then you can simply grab that one and slide them all off. So here we are, here is our ear so far. Pull this off. Oops, and it pulled my loom off as well. And then pull it all off. Now we're going to do it from the bottom. So just take them all off. white ones over. Sorry if I'm getting my hand in the way I don't mean it. Here we are, almost finished. Just gotta take those last ones off. There we are. I'm gonna put my loom to one side now. Here it is so far. Now obviously we need to stretch it a lot. I'll just stretch it out properly. Stretch these out nicely. And here we are. Tighten those slip knots for you. Now I cut the slip knots off at the top, but because I'm not actually putting this on any of the dolls, uh, I'm just gonna leave them on to pin on my pin board. So here we are. Um, the boy and girl version of my bunny ears. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment any ideas. I will also put the links to my Facebook page and to my um, Instagram page and, and there will be links to my YouTube channel on my Facebook page and on my Instagram page. So, thank you for watching. Bye! like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes uh -uh, uh -uh. it feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight to fall in love with strangers